In this video, we're going to talk about the second translation theorem. Translation theorem. So we need some notation to talk about the theorem. So we'll start by letting the Laplace of f of t be equal to big F of s. And then u of t minus a, that's going to be the unit step function. So unit step function. OK, and there's two statements, one going forward and one going backwards. So the first one says, if we take the Laplace transform of f of t minus a times the unit step function, this is equal to e to the negative a s, that's my cursive s, <laughs> times big F of s. Okay, Going backwards would be the inverse of this statement, so 2. So going backwards, we have the inverse of loss of the right hand side up there. So e to the negative a s big F of s is equal to f of t minus a u of t minus a. Okay, so let's just do one example of each. So let's see. Uh, ex means example. Let's start maybe by taking um, the Laplace transform of t times the unit step of t minus 2. So this one does require some work. It's not the easiest possible example, but it's still pretty simple. So you'll notice here that we have f of t minus a, and here we have u of t minus a. So here you see t minus 2. So it's pretty clear that a has to be 2. So this is just a t, but we would like it to be t minus 2. So what we do is we make it t minus 2. So we put it there. And really what we've done is we've added a negative 2 times the unit step. So we have to take it away. So plus 2 unit step of t minus 2. And now we can break it up. So this is the Laplace transform of t minus 2 unit step of t minus 2 plus and then 2 Laplace transform unit step of t minus 2. OK, now we're ready to um, apply the theorem. OK, so you see in all of this, let me write it again. So in all of this here, a is 2, OK? f of t is simply t, right? What we have here is f of t minus 2. So we get t minus 2, right? And uh, I believe that's it. Let me write that down so you see it. f of t minus 2 is t minus 2. So that's this piece here. OK, so this is equal to, so using the formula up here, using this one, we get e to the negative 2s, okay, times, and then big F of s is the Laplace of little f. Well, the Laplace of little f, the Laplace of t, is 1 factorial over s squared. So just 1 over s squared plus 2 times, and I don't know if you remember this, the Laplace of the unit step function is equal to e to the negative a s over s. So here it's e to the negative 2 s over s. And that is the final answer. So it takes a little bit of careful finesse. You want to go slow when you're first um, learning uh, to use this one. It's a little bit more difficult to use, 
than the first translation theorem. Let's do an example of going backwards. So now we're going to use this formula up here. Okay, Let's try this one. Inverse Laplace of e to the negative pi s over s squared plus 1. Okay, So if you like, you can rewrite this as inverse Laplace of e to the negative pi s, just trying to make it match what's up here. So this is your e to the negative pi s, and then your f of s, big F of s, is 1 over s squared plus 1. Let's identify everything now, so every, we can use matching. So big F of s in this is 1 over s squared plus 1, right? Just matching stuff in the formula, right? That's our big F of s. There's our big F of s right there, okay? Big F of s. A is pi. That's pretty clear. Okay, A is pi. And to get um, F of t, F of t, well, the Laplace of F of t is big F. So when you take the inverse of this, you get back F. That's just going to be sine t, okay, sine t. But here it's sine of t minus a, so it'd be sine, it'd be sine of t minus pi, right, sine of t minus pi, because it's t minus a, a is pi, and then unit step of t minus pi. You could simplify this further using identities, uh, but I will just uh, leave it there. I hope that made sense.